द वे फॉरवर्ड इज थोड़ा बहुत बहुत स्वागत है मैं थोड़ा होस्ट हरजोत सिंह पिछले हफ्ते असी एस्टेट प्लैनिंग की गल की असी गल शुरू की विल्स की हैल्थ प्रोक्सी की पावर ऑफ अटर्नी क्यों ये सारी चीज़ा थोड़े वास्ते बहुत जरूरी हैं और ये चीज़ा एग्जैक्टली की हैं असी पिछले हफ्ते प्रिवलेज टू हैव मिस्टर डेविड कशपलम जो असी तो दसिया कि चौबीस साल वास्ते ही वॉज ए जज न्यू न्यूयॉर्क क्वीनस काउंटी फैमिली कोर्ट में अज वी आर प्रिवलेज टू हैव जज कशपलम अगेन एंड एकम्पनीड बाय हिज पार्टनर ओरली टेबर जज कशपलम early table thank you very much for taking out the time coming here today and uh, you're most welcome to the show thank you for having us thank you so much asi pichle hafte mr kershblam tu samjhya ki will ki cheez hundi hai will is ki ki elements hunde hai kyun sade aste bahut zaruri hai and pichle hafte show de baad sanu ek call aanda hai ਅਸੀਂ ਜੱਜ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਉਸ ਕਾਲ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਜਦ ਯੂ نو ਇਮੀਡੀਏਟਲੀ ਆਫਟਰ ਦ ਸ਼ੋ ਦੈਟ ਵੀ ਡਿਡ ਲਾਸਟ ਵੀਕ ਵੀ ਗੋਟ ਅ ਕਾਲ ਇਨ ਦ ਸਟੂਡੀਓਜ਼ ਅ ਯੰਗ ਲੇਡੀ 25 ਇਅਰਸ ਆਫ ਏਜ ਸੇਸ ਆ ਮ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟ ਆਈ ਜਸਟ ਬੋਟ ਅ ਹਾਊਸ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਟਰੈਵਲ ਅਰਾਉਂਡ ਦ ਵਰਲਡ ਥਿਸ ਈਅਰ ਸੋ ਆਮ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਆਊਟ ਆਫ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਰਾਈਟ ਅ ਵਿਲ so that if anything happens to me this house is taken care of and she wants to name her parents uh, and her sister as a beneficiary is that a, a good advice is that something she should do absolutely she should mm-hmm. uh and it will allow for her to then travel without having any concern that what happens if by chance something heaven forbid were to happen to her mm-hmm. she's doing what's necessary to ensure the continuity not only of the property that she owns but also to make sure that her family knows what her wishes are i would also recommend as we had discussed in the last uh session she should also do a power of attorney so that if there are any financial decisions in her absence that she needs to make she'll be authorizing someone to make them for her <laughs> ਮੈਂ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਉਹਨ ਗੈਸਟ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਡਾਊਨ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹਾਂ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਉਹਨ ਵਿਊਰਸ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਪੁੱਛਿਆ ਅ ਡੇਵਿਡ ਕੈਰੇਨ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਵਿਲ ਵੀ ਕਰਨੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਵਿਲ ਦੇ ਇਲਾਵਾ ਇੱਕ ਹੋਰ ਚੀਜ਼ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆਪਾਂ ਲਾਸਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਗੱਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਸੀਗੀ ਪਾਵਰ ਆਫ ਅਟਰਨੀ ਸੋ ਵੈਨ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਅਵੇ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਦਿਸ ਪਾਵਰ ਆਫ ਅਟਰਨੀ ਹੂ ਕੈਨ ਮੇਕ ਦੋਸ ਫਾਈਨੈਂਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਡਿਸੀਜਨਸ ਫॉर ਯੂ ਉਹ ਬੜਾ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਹੈ ਹੈਲਥ ਪ੍ਰੋਕਸੀ ਇਸ ਕੇਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਯੂ ਮਾਈਟ ਨਾਟ ਨੀਡ ਬਟ ਯੂ ਡੈਫੀਨਿਟਲੀ ਨੀਡ ਅ ਵਿਲ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਡੈਫੀਨਿਟਲੀ ਨੀਡ ਅ ਪਾਵਰ ਆਫ ਅਟਰਨੀ ਓਨਲੀ ਵੁੱਡ ਵੁੱਡ ਯੂ ਸੇ ਇਜ਼ देयर ਐਨੀਥਿੰਗ ਐਲਸ ਸ਼ੀ ਸ਼ੁਡ ਡੂ ਔਰ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਬੈਸਟ ਵੇ ਆਫ ਪਲੈਨਿੰਗ ਫॉर ਐਨੀ ਮਿਸ ਹੈਪ ਔਰ ਐਨੀਥਿੰਗ I definitely think that getting her legal documents are um the right way to go and the most responsible way to go. Mm-hmm. Um I think that people are unaware but if you don't have those documents in place like a will then you have what's called a person dies in test state which means that they have to go according to the laws of New York state on mm-hmm. how their property gets split up. Mm-hmm. So in your situation with your 25 year old if she wanted her sister to inherit in case something god forbid happened to her mm-hmm. by traveling um her property would actually go to her parents and not to her sister according to the laws of intestacy in New York mm-hmm. but by creating a will and writing in that she also wants her parents and her sister to inherit she now is able to include her sister old or younger whichever as part of her as part of her estate So if somebody doesn't want to leave it up to the hands of New York state and what they decided mm-hmm. then you want to create a will which will then give your property out the way that you want it to. Mm-hmm. So so David uh, what all goes in this will? So there are many paragraphs that we have included mm-hmm. but by case by case it's really up to the individual client. They come into our office we explain to them property can be designated and given to their beneficiaries of choice if they have specific bequests if they have jewelry if they have other types of property we had a client recently who wanted to leave his grandson his car you yeah. know one particular grandson who always loved his car he wanted to make sure that grandson receives it so instead of leaving it up to the beneficiaries or the executor to decide who gets what mm-hmm. you can make designated 
provisions for each and every piece of property if you want it very specific, or it could be general. You could also put in burial provisions. So mm. there are many things that you could provide for so that, unfortunately, in that time of grieving, in that time of death, the family doesn't have to say, what did this person ultimately want? Mm -hmm. I will add to that also that the vast majority of our clients will decide to just leave it very generally. Most people don't want to go into the specifics because I think that people out there are afraid and they don't want it, they're overwhelmed by the process of which necklace goes here or which um, you know ring goes there and they just want to know that their kids are taken care of um, or their charity that they're giving to is taken care of and so most people tend to give it to and they'll say I'm giving percentages mm -hmm. and it should be um, given out according to my wishes or what my executor the person who's managing the affairs um, would would consider their preferences. Mm -hmm. uh, clear kar she asked me if she can if, if I can leave my car to my sister. So yes she can, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. To see apni car apne sister de naam kar sakde ho, village o to see provision bana sakde ho. You know uh, early uh, David told us last time that there's a there's a process of probate. So yes. when when uh, you do a will, you have to get it probated through the court. Is there an easy alternative for that? Because we understand probate is a long process in itself, right? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, there is an easier way. Probate, as I'm sure, as David went over with you all last week, um, is when you have to file the will and you wait for the court and a judge or a surrogate to approve of it. Um, and it can take anywhere from like four months to over a year. So what's been more recently come up is a trust. And a trust is a, a document kind of like a corporation mm -hmm. in that it can be an entity unto itself. And it's a really great tool that you can use that bypasses the court system and bypasses having to wait for all the approvals. Um, and it gives the power automatically to the, the trustees and the beneficiaries of a trust. David, you did mention trust last time. Let's talk uh, in more detail. I understand there are two kinds, revocable and irrevocable. Can you throw some light on that, please? Yeah, so I'll talk about the irrevocable, especially for those clients who are elderly, mm -hmm. and then I'll leave to uh, orally the revocable for other groups of people, although, of course, elderly at times feel mm -hmm. that revocable is their better fit. Uh, we have a lot of clients who want to ensure that they can bypass, as Orly said, the probate process, but also to get their estate in order so that they could become Medicaid eligible. So mm -hmm. if by chance during their life they do need any type of services, whether it's nursing care outside of their home in a facility or inside of their home, instead of the government saying, you have too much money, so we're not going to find you Medicaid eligible, mm -hmm. we can transfer their homes. Mm -hmm. most of their bank accounts. Of course, they're not going to lose their entirety of decision making. They will still be able to have an account which day to day they'll be able to make certain types of transactions. David, this is very important for our community and I, I want them to understand. Uthe culture at the Haga, Ki Buzurg Jeden, Bachanal Renden, Bache Lambi Umartak, Unada, Unada Kyal Rakden, you know, they're taken care of elders. Ithe Tonu a provisions Karne Penden, Kaiva Resi situations and the end, Jite Yate to see un nursing's home with Jake Rendeo, Yatonu Karvich on aids the Lord Hundeku get or Dejede upne Bachen, O Kamte Salajan, to see Saradin Kale Hundeo, Tonu healthy Lord. A very important factor and I will talk about this but in each of these things I will tell you that this is a very expensive thing project it's a very expensive thing right so this is a thing that is a lot of planning and a lot of planning the government provisions which take care of that we will talk about this in the next segment which David we will talk more about uh, you know the uh, it's part of Medicaid planning and you know this long-term care but before we go there I just want to uh, understand quickly what, what is revocable and what is irrevocable sure so a revocable and irrevocable 
um, basically means that when you have a revocable trust, uh -huh. it's still tied to the person um, that's creating it. So if I set up a revocable trust, mm -hmm. it's going to have, it's a document or it's kind of, like I said, kind of like a corporation where you're setting up an entity that's connected to you. It has your social security number, it's tied to your taxes, okay. and the reason why someone sets it up is because they want to avoid probate. So they don't want to go to court and it has a lot of flexibility and ease that a will doesn't have okay so you can set something up you can be the manager so everyone hears and they get that they hear the term trust and they worry do i have control over my assets this type of trust you're the manager you're the beneficiary you're the person who sets it up and you can live life freely mm -hmm. you write in the trust how you want all of your assets to be distributed and then anytime you want to make a change, you simply make a change. You can have amendments to the trust. So the ownership gets transferred to the trust? All the ownership gets transferred to the trust. Mm -hmm. So if everything I own is or in the name of Orly Tabor, mm -hmm. then everything is going to be in the name of the trust of the Orly Tabor revocable trust. Mm -hmm. It's going to have my social security number. It's going to have all of my information. Okay. There's no problem with um, refinancing or taking out loans because everything is connected to your, to your social security. Number. So you can, you can have a trust and still get a loan on that same property? Yes, as Absolutely. long as it's a revocable trust connected that's connected to your social okay. security. Pelli cheese, Jedi, Apa trust the Galkiti Sigi, a David the Orly Sanu does the pain, keep Jadapa will Kardea, Ustu Sanu probate Karnapenda, right? Probate Jada, with Lamba process, like Manga process. Usnu avoid Karana stake, Tarika Haga, trust Bananda. Trust dokisam de hege, ek revocable trust on there, ek irrevocable trust on there. Jada revocable trust hai, to see ek entity banandeo, or to see jadi property the ownership hai, us trust the nam kardeo, but kyunki or revocable hai, toda uzenal social security connected hega, toda nam connected hega, to see sare decisions us, uh, us property was there, us business as the lasak deo, or a jada. Uh, 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 Business है उसने उसी control कर सकते हो उस दियो पर loan ले सकते हो और एक कोई भी change तो उसी कदी भी करना चाहो तो उसी कर सकते हो What's an irrevocable trust? So that's a great question. So if we're looking at the revocable trust and mm -hmm. we look at it as like the modern will, mm -hmm. it bypasses probate. The irrevocable trust does all of that, but it also provides asset protection. Okay. Okay. So that's the main difference. Irrevocable trust provides asset protection, revocable trust does not. Mm -hmm. The irrevocable trust, because it provides asset protection, needs to create some distance between the person who sets up the trust mm -hmm. and the people who are managing and the beneficiaries of the trust. So because when a person sets up the trust, they have special rights to the trust because that's your money and your house and everything that you've put into it, but we need to create some space the keyword is availability. A creditor looks to see what's available to you, and if it's available to you, it's available to them. So we create some space. An irrevocable trust gets its own tax ID number. It's not connected to your social security number, and it is not managed by the person who sets up the trust. It's typically managed by a loved one, somebody that you trust. It could be a, an accountant, a lawyer, a sibling, a family member, anybody who's over the age of 18. Mm -hmm. um, and so the biggest positive is that it gives you so much more in that it bypasses probate and it gives you the accessibility to things like long-term care Medicaid um, or protection malpractice if you're a professional and you want to protect your, a your assets, it can help with that. Um, but it does, but it, a revocable trust gives you the accessibility to manage the trust assets much easier. So, David, uh, do, do these trusts uh, give you protection from your creditors? So, they do, but the creditor certainly can look to try and raise their claim to the trust. Not to the person, but to the trust. But certainly it is definitely, as Orly had said, an asset protective measure so that if someone were to slip and fall on a property, mm -hmm. you could, as the homeowner, be sued for personal injury. Mm -hmm. In contrast to, if you put this property into a trust, they cannot sue you as a person. So you are protecting yourself from that type of exposure. 
and as a result, a lot of money can be saved. ਜਿਦਾਂ ਕਿ ਡੇਵਿਡ ਔਰ ਓਰਲੀ ਨੇ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਦੋ ਕਿਸਮ ਦੇ ਟਰਸਟ ਹੈਗੇ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਸੀ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਜਿਸ ਨੂੰ ਰਿਵੋਕੇਬਲ ਟਰਸਟ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਇਰਿਵੋਕੇਬਲ ਟਰਸਟ ਹੈਗਾ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਉਸ ਟਰਸਟ ਦੇ ਉੱਪਰ ਡੇਲੀ ਮੈਨੇਜ ਕਰਨ ਦਾ ਕੰਟਰੋਲ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਘੱਟ ਹੈਗਾ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਤੋਂ ਉਸ ਦਾ ਡਿਸਟੈਂਸ ਹੈ ਬਟ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਐਸੈਟਸ ਦੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਪੈਸੇ ਦੀ ਕ੍ਰੈਡਿਟਸ ਤੋਂ ਔਰ ਹੋਰ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਦੋਨੋਂ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ਆਪਾਂ ਇਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਹੋਰ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਇਨ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਹੋਰ ਜਿਨ ਇਨਵੈਸਟੀਗੇਟ ਕਰ ਸਕੋ ਕਰੋ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ एवरीवन ਹੈਜ਼ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਥਿਸ ਇਸ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇਨ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਆਪਾਂ ਇਹ ਗੱਲ ਜਾਰੀ ਰੱਖਾਂਗੇ ਇੱਕ ਛੋਟੀ ਜੀ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਦੇ ਬਾਅਦ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੇਖਦੇ ਰਹੋ ਦ ਵੇ ਫਾਰਵਰਡ ਦ ਵੇ ਫਾਰਵਰਡ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਫਿਰ ਤੋਂ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਹੋਸਟ ਹਰਜੋਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਗੱਲ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਡੇਵਿਡ ਕਰਸ਼ਪਰਮ ਐਂਡ ਓਰਲੀ ਟੇਬਰ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਸਟੇਟ ਪਲੈਨਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਗੱਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਵਿਲ ਦੀ ਟਰਸਟ ਦੀ ਹੁਣ ਅਸੀਂ ਇੱਕ ਬੜੇ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਕਿ 65 ਸਾਲ ਤੋਂ ਉੱਪਰ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਇਸ ਮੁਲਕ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੈਗੇ ਕੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ਕੀ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮਸ ਹੈਗੇ ਔਰ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਉਹ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮਸ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਫਾਇਦਾ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਚੱਕ ਸਕਦੇ ਨੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੇਖਿਆ ਸਾਡੇ ਬੰਦਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਈ ਵਾਰ ਇਹ ਪਤਾ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਕਿ ਆਪਾਂ ਹੁਣ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਜਾਣਾ ਹੈ ਕੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਉਹ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਕੀ ਪੈਂਟ ਸਾਲ ਦੇ ਹੋ ਜਾਓਗੇ ਤੇ ਯੂ نو ਸੋਸ਼ਲ ਸਕਿਉਰਿਟੀ ਬੈਨੀਫਿਟਸ ਮੈਡੀਕੇਅਰ ਕਈ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਮਿਲਣਗੇ ਬਟ ਹਾਊ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਉਹ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਸ ਗੱਲ ਦੀ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਲਾਂਗੇ ਡੇਵਿਡ ਤੂੰ ਤੇ ਓਰਲੀ ਤੂੰ ਡੇਵਿਡ ਫਰਸਟ ਆਫ ਆਲ ਆਈ ਵੁੱਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਆਸਕ ਯੂ ਯੂ نو ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਵੀ ਵੀ ਸਪੋਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਥਿਸ ਲਾਸਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਰੀਸੈਂਟ ਇਮੀਗ੍ਰੈਂਟਸ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਐਂਡ ਨਾਓ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਆਰ ਪੋਪੂਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਇਸ ਯੂ نو ਰੀਚਿੰਗ ਥੈਟ ਏਜ ਆਫ 65 ਐਂਡ ਅਬਵ they don't know about these government programs they don't even know many they've heard of these things social security and uh, you know medicaid but they don't know so my first question to you would be this the way we have protections for toddlers minors uh, not from the government but uh, as individuals as family i owe some duty to my kids right under new york law do individuals do families do children owe any duty to their parents who are 65 years and above the answer unfortunately is no hmm. uh to the extent that even when it comes to parents responsibility for children under the family court act child support continues only until age 21 unless there are special needs of the subject child so to answer briefly unfortunately the answer is no do we have a moral do we have an ethical duty I certainly would suggest we do. I take care of my mother and Orly takes care of her grandmother who both live in states other than New York, but there's no legal duty under New York state law. Egal samajhni, you know this is very important for our uh, viewers to understand that because they have to manage their expectations and they have to uh, you know create their protections because they they might be under that impression that uh, you know uh, things are taken care of but in this culture uh, sometimes they are not so they have to plan a cheez asi tonu samjhana cha rahe ha ki koi vi kanuni zarurat nahi hagi hai todi family nu todi take care karan di jive 4 saal da bachcha hunda hai todi responsibility hundi hai us vaste jo 65 saal de upar buzurgan 90 saal de buzurgan apa canada tu eh story sunien jithe apne parents nu jawan bacche mall vich chhad ke wapas chale gaye aur unna nu koi chakkan vaste shami nahi aaya ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹਨ ਉਹ ਕੀ ਹਨ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਦੇ ਕੀ ਬੈਨੀਫਿਟਸ ਹਨ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਮਝਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਡੇਵਿਡ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਜਸਟ ਸ਼ੇਅਰਿੰਗ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਹਰਡ ਸਟੋਰੀਜ਼ ਫਰਮ ਇਮੀਗ੍ਰੈਂਟ ਫੈਮਿਲੀਜ਼ ਇਨ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਵੇਅਰ ਪੀਪਲ ਟੁਕ ਦੇ ਕਿਡਸ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਮਾਲ ਮੇਡ ਦਮ ਸਿਟ ਦੇ ਟੋਲਡ ਦਮ ਦੈਟ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਪਿਕ ਯੂ ਅਪ ਇਨ ਅਨ ਆਵਰ
reach the age of 72, mm -hmm. then all the years that you have bypassed that type of benefit, your family will not be able to go to the Social Security Administration and say, my parent did not seek this, now I want it retroactively back. Mm. So some do opt for 62. Most that I have seen, 65, but some people do wait until their early 70s. So if somebody uh, becomes eligible at 62, but they don't avail it and they die at 69, their family can go to the Social Security and say, that please uh, give us 70 years of dues, right? Retroactively, they would not have that right. They would not. Uh, only is there any other requirement uh, uh, for for social security benefits like number of years you have worked or number of uh, yeah. anything you, yeah. do, you you do have to pay into social security for a, a number of years in order to be eligible for it um, but if it's okay I did want to mention based on your questioning before mm -hmm. about the um, what requirements what duties do we owe for our to our parents and things like that and you mentioned this Canada story which yes. was heartbreaking yeah. um, but there is something out there for adults that are 65 and older where adults 65 and older or younger can become wards of the state as well just like children can become wards of the state mm -hmm. and I think it's really important that your viewers know this mm -hmm. because a lot of people think and assume that if something happens a family member can step in and make decisions for them mm -hmm. and what, what happens is that they can't. So you, this is, goes back to the importance really of the power of attorney and the healthcare proxy, because if you don't have those things, you're entering into what's called guardianship territory. And that's when a person becomes legally declared to be incapacitated and then is considered a ward of the state. And that lasts forever until it gets discharged and it barely ever gets discharged. So, so let me ask you that. For, for that person who was left in the mall, if he's 75 years of age, right, yeah. and now he, he doesn't know this place, he has no way to go, what would be his options? What should he do? Well, specifically what happens is it's, the question is, does that person have capacity mm. or not? Mm. If he is a healthy 75-year-old man, mm -hmm. you're, you're looking at the programs that we're discussing now, like Social Security if he's eligible for, mm. like Medicaid if he's eligible for, like that SNAP benefits for, food, help, for help with food. There's rental programs out there to have subsidized rental homes. There's a lot of programs and welfare programs out there and entitlement programs that will help those, um, those types of people. But if somebody is 75 and is a little bit confused, mm -hmm. somebody maybe had a stroke, maybe fell, maybe is starting to get a little bit forgetful, mm -hmm. those scenarios, if, if he or she does not have a power of attorney in place or a healthcare proxy in place, mm -hmm. they're looking at a guardianship proceeding with New York State. And that becomes very costly Mm -hmm. very time consuming mm -hmm. and it takes away any of the family's authority to take care of their loved one because now they're going to have the oversight of it's called a court examiner of a judge mm -hmm. and it makes life much much more difficult jida se ki pichli baar gal kiti si gi ki tusi apna health proxy appoint kar deyo ki agar meri health di problem ho jaye te aa banda mere aste decision le sakda hai sanu david te orli e das rahe कि अगर जिदा जिस सिचुएशन में आप गल कर रहे हैं अगर कोई बंदा है जो ऐसी 75 फाइव ईयर्स की ऐसी सिचुएशन पहुंच जाता है और उसने आप प्लानिंग जी है टाइम सिर नहीं की है उसने किसी बंदे ने अपॉइंट नहीं किया जो उस वास्ते डिसीजन लेगा तो आ ना सोचो कि थोड़ा परिवार थोड़े वास्ते ऑटोमैटिकली डिसीजन लै सकता है वो जो डिसीजन हैं वो फिर कोर्ट लैना शुरू कर देंदी है कोर्ट बंदा अपॉइंट कर दी है और वो जी प्रोसीडिंग हैगी है वो बहुत औखी हैगी है बड़ी टाइम कंज्यूमिंग हैगी है और थोड़े वास्ते बहुत महंगी हैगी है इसी वास्ते असी इस चीज़ को कड़ी कड़ी एम्फोसाइज कर रहे हैं इसी करके अज इन गैसों असी इतने लैके आए हैं कि आप जब इस एज में पहुँच रहे हैं साडे वास्ते बहुत ज़्यादा जरूरी है कि असी ये सारे इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स इन अदा टेक केयर करिए इस पहले प्लान करिए असी इस बारे गल करा एक छोटी जी ब्रेक के बाद वेखते रहो द वे फॉरवर्ड द वे फॉरवर्ड इज थोड़ा फिर तू स्वागत है मैं थोड़ा होस्ट हरजोत सिंह डेविड सो वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ ऑल दैट वी टॉकिंग हेयर टूडे इज लॉन्ग टर्म केयर right uh as we said culturally uh 
parents are not always taken care of uh, by uh, kids, right? Or even if they're staying at home, uh, kids go out to work and they need some uh, help, right? So what are the various ways uh, that these people can be helped? We can, long-term care, we understand, is very expensive. Private insurance is very, very expensive, and I don't even know which private insurances are offering those plans anymore, okay. right? So what are the options for, uh, for the people? So it's of great concern, and yeah. uh, to the extent that, as you said, long-term care insurance not only could be very expensive, mm -hmm. but it could be also durational in time. They could write a policy that someone elderly would only have five years of care or 10 years of care. And thankfully, with our general health system right now, people are living a longer life. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Number two, they could only give a certain amount per day. And with the cost of care being so very expensive, it would be a fraction to what the total cost that one would incur. So sure. pe people can be spending their entire lifetime creating a nest egg of their own and then they get sick and even with long-term care they're going to spend a lot of that money on their own care so so this long-term care is when you're staying at a nursing home or you're taking care of uh, at your home as well so the long-term care insurance that you have could be paying for both mm -hmm. but as an alternative mm -hmm. you can certainly file for medicaid as long as you have protected your assets and moved your assets into as we've discussed this irrevocable trust I would break down this for the, for our viewers mm -hmm. because that that's 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 very important discussion we do have. देखो जेडी जब तुसी लॉन्ग टर्म दी गल कर दियो अपा गल करिए कि लेट्स से तुसी नर्सिंग होम विच जान दियो या कोई हेल्थ एड तो अनु तोड़े कार्विच चेदी है ए लॉन्ग टर्म केयर है जेडी प्राइवेट इंश्योरेंसेस है कि या अगर उस ना तो तुसी इंश्योरेंस कराओ तो वो बहुत ज़्यादा महंगी हैं या उन्हों पर ड्यूरेशन है पाँच साल वस्ते दे देंगे दस साल वस्ते दे देंगे साड़ी उम्र आजकल लंबी होगी दिए हैं अपना वो चीज़ प्राइवेट इंश्योरेंसेस तो बहुत ज़्यादा अवेल नहीं कर सकते हूँ इस दे सॉल्यूशन जेड़ेन वो गवर्नमेंट दी जेड़ी पॉलिसीज़ हैं एक चीज़ आंधी है मेडिकेड मेडिकेड जिस तो बहुत लोग आंध तो लोग पूरा पला कहने हैं कि भाई गरीब लोग आंध से है वेलफेयर प्रोग्राम है ए है ओ है तो उसी गलां सुनोगे बट मैं तो उन्हें दसा एस ए प्रैक्टिसिंग अटॉर्नी मैं तो उन्हें आप दस सकता बहुत बहुत अमीर लोग भी इस वस्ते अपा किवे एलिजिबल हो सकते हैं ये फायदा अपा किवे चक सकते हैं ये असी पूछेंगे डेविड एंड ऑली तो डेविड आई आई जस्ट टोल्ड माय व्यूअर्स दैट यू नो लॉट ऑफ पीपल हैव लॉट ऑफ ओपिनियंस अबाउट दी सोशल वेलफेयर प्रोग्राम्स राइट ऑल दिस इज यू नो वेलफेयर स्टेट एंड दिस एंड दैट बट द ट्रू Medicaid is something which not only the very poor avail, but some very rich people avail it, and they, they need to because that uh, long-term care is very expensive, right? So they have to make themselves eligible for that. How do we do that? Tell us, tell us something about that. Um, I think it's really, really important to note that there's a difference between mm -hmm. Medicaid for the nursing homes and okay. Medicaid for in the community when you're living at home. Okay. And we treat both of those differently and both of those are options. Mm -hmm. So if you're still living at home with your kids and you, but your medical expenses are starting to get more exorbitant mm -hmm. or you need an aid in the home to help or you need durable medical equipment, you're able to access New York's Medicaid program at home without having to leave your family and go to something more um, extreme like a nursing home mm. um, or even an assisted living facility. Mm -hmm. So in order to, to start the process or even consider it, um, a person should go to an attorney's office. Mm -hmm. Thank God in New York there's plenty. Mm -hmm. And you can sit down and look at your assets mm -hmm. because you don't want to spend all your money and mm -hmm. then have to get Medicaid as, as a, an impoverished person, as a poor person. But you can go to a lawyer's office, you can look at what you have. Maybe it's just a house, maybe it's just a bank account, or it's a house and a couple of accounts. Mm -hmm. And you can set up an irrevocable trust, like we discussed, mm -hmm. and put your assets in there. This way you make yourself eligible for Medicaid, but you're also protecting your assets for your family. Mm -hmm. I hope to see a girl closely soon, honey. ऑर्ली जी ने सूँ दसिया जिमें क्या कि एक केयर बहुत महंगी हैगी है 
ਅਗਰ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਐਡਵਾਂਸ ਏਜ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਜ਼ੁਰਗ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਘਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੈਗੇ ਹੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪ ਉਸ ਉਮਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਹੁੰਚ ਗਏ ਹੋ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਮੈਡੀਸਿਨ ਦਾ ਖਰਚਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੈ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਹੈਲਥ ਏਡ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਘਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਰਸਿੰਗ ਹੋਮ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਹੀਂ ਗਏ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਘਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੈਗੇ ਹੋ ਤੇ ਇਨ ਸਾਰੇ ਖਰਚਿਆਂ ਲਈ ਵੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਮੈਡੀਕੇਟ ਦਾ ਫਾਇਦਾ ਚੱਕ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਹੁਣ ਮੈਡੀਕੇਟ ਦਾ ਫਾਇਦਾ ਚੱਕਣ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਕੁਝ ਰਿਕੁਆਇਰਮੈਂਟਸ ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ਉਸ ਲਈ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕੋਈ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਗਰੀਬ ਹੋਣ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਐਸਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜਿਨ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਕੋਲ ਕੋਈ ਐਸੈਟਸ ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ਉਹ ਇਹ ਕੰਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਪਲਾਨਿੰਗ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਹੈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਐਸੈਟਸ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਕਿਸੇ ਟਰਸਟ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਣਾ ਕੇ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਚ ਰੱਖਦੇ ਹੋ ਆਹੀ ਵਜ੍ਹਾ ਹੈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਵਕੀਲ ਕੋਲ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਹੋ ਐਸਟੇਟ ਪਲਾਨਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ you know uh, firms like uh, uh, kushblam uh, tabor right you, you you help clients with these kind of things right to see na kol jande ho to see inna nu dass de ho ki bhai eh saadi situation hai ki hai assi eh medicate planning karna chande ha oh saade tode saare jehde assets hai ke kisi trust vich rakh den jithe oh jehde tode jehdi income hai usnu is hisab nal manage kita janda hai ki tusi medicate vaste eligible bande ho is da eh matlab nahi hai ki tusi oh saari property oh saare assets lose karde ho oh fir bhi tode family ਇਸ ਤੇ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਬੈਨੀਫਿਟਸ ਤੇ ਯੂਜ਼ ਹੋ ਸਕਦੇ ਨੇ ਬਟ देयर ਹੈਸ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਸਮ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਪਲੈਨਿੰਗ ਇਨਵੋਲਵ ਡੇਵਿਡ ਯੂ ਵੁਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਥਰੋ ਸਮ ਮੋਰ ਲਾਈਟ ਔਨ ਥੈਟ ਯੈਸ ਵਾਲ ਪਲੈਨਿੰਗ ਇਜ਼ ਵੈਰੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਅਦਰ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਥੈਟ ਪੀਪਲ ਕਨਫਿਊਜ਼ ਇਜ਼ ਮੈਡੀਕੇਅਰ ਐਂਡ ਮੈਡੀਕੇਡ ਸੋ ਵਨ ਵੀਰ ਡੀਲਿੰਗ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਆਲਡਰਲੀ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਐਂਟਾਈਟਲਡ ਟੂ ਸੋਸ਼ਲ ਸਿਕਿਉਰਿਟੀ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਐਂਟਾਈਟਲਡ ਟੂ ਮੈਡੀਕੇਅਰ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਆਫ ਦੇਅਰ ਏਜ ਇਟ ਵਿਲ ਓਨਲੀ allow for them to be reimbursed or have coverage for the first 80% mm-hmm. and with the cost of care that other 20% could be quite expensive mm-hmm. so you oftentimes have parties who then spend money to get a supplemental plan mm-hmm. with the medicaid program you can have that as your backup or as your secondary plan in addition to medicare so by doing this asset protection mm-hmm. we allow for you to then get on medicaid and that other 20% would allow for you not to be out of pocket it will also provide for certain services dental optical a lot of different benefits that one would have david ne evik hor badi important gal dassi tusi dekho tusi sochde ho tade kol medicare hai ga jad tusi 65 saal de hunde ho tade tusi medicare raste eligible ho jande ho tanu mil janda hai but jehda medicare hai oh ਕੁਛ ਪਾਰਟ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਦਾ ਕਵਰ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸੁਣਦੇ ਹੋ ਪਾਰਟ A ਪਾਰਟ B ਇਟ ਡਸ ਨਾਟ ਕਵਰ ਦਾ ਇੰਟਾਇਰ ਐਕਸਪੈਂਸ ਰਾਈਟ ਐਸ ਜੇਵਿਟ ਸੈਡ 80% ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਫਰਜ ਕਰੋ ਅਗਰ ਉਹ ਕਵਰ ਕਰ ਵੀ ਲੈਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜਾ 20% ਬਚਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਇੰਨਾ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਐਕਸਪੈਂਸਿਵ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ 80% ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਵਰ ਵੀ ਕੀਤਾ ਉਸ ਦਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕੋਈ ਫਾਇਦਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਣਾ ਤੇ ਉਹ 20% ਲਈ ਵੀ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਮੈਡੀਕੇਟ ਜਿਹੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਬੈਨੀਫਿਟਸ ਹਨ ਉਹ ਲੈਨੇ ਪਾਂਗੇ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਅਗੇਨ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਦੱਸਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਅੱਜ ਹੀ ਕਿਸੇ ਐਸਟੇਟ ਪਲੈਨਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਅਟਰਨੀ ਨੂੰ ਬੁਲਾਓ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਪੁੱਛੋ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਕੀ ਆਪਸ਼ਨਸ ਹਨ ਕੀ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਰਿਕੁਆਇਰਮੈਂਟਸ ਹਨ ਓਨਲੀ ਯੂ ਸੈਡ ਦੈਟ ਦੀਸ ਬੈਨੀਫਿਟਸ ਕੈਨ ਬੀ ਅਵੇਲ ਵੈਨ ਸਮਬਡੀ ਇਜ਼ ਐਟ ਹੋਮ how about somebody who's moved to a nursing home or a assisted living facility so that's a great question those options are available obviously at a more extreme um benefit meaning they're not living at home anymore they're living in a nursing facility and they're going to get that type of care mm-hmm. the cost of that in in New York state and Nassau County is anywhere it could be around $20,000 a month mm-hmm. depending on on the facility so absolutely um a family like that would want to apply for medicaid assistance as soon as possible and there's just more stringent rules when you're in a nursing home because that care is so much more expensive that you have to look back or medicaid looks back at 5 years worth of your financials to see what the family has done within those 5 years to become eligible community medicaid doesn't have the 5 year look back they're building up right now the law is changing and they're building up right now to get up to a two and a half year look back period but we're not there yet again ek uh, badi important gal
ਇਹ ਇੱਕ ਬੜੀ ਸਪੈਸੀਫਿਕ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕਿਸੇ ਸਟੇਟ ਪਲੈਨਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਅਟਰਨੀ ਨੂੰ ਮਿਲ ਕੇ ਇਸ ਸਾਰੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਨੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਹਾਸਲ ਕਰਨੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਅਸੀਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਇੱਕ ਛੋਟੀ ਜੀ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਲਾਂਗੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਗੱਲ ਜਾਰੀ ਰੱਖਾਂਗੇ ਛੋਟੀ ਜੀ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਦੇ ਬਾਅਦ ਸੀ ਵੇਖਦੇ ਰਹੋ ਦ ਵੇ ਫਾਰਵਰਡ ਦ ਵੇ ਫਾਰਵਰਡ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਫਿਰ ਤੋਂ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਹੋਸਟ ਹਰਜੋਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਮੀਦ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਅੱਜ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਬੜੀ ਕਲੋਜ਼ਲੀ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਹੋਣਾ ਆਪਾਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਇਸ ਮੁਲਕ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਬੜੀ ਮਿਹਨਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਸਾਡੇ ਬਾਅਦ ਸਾਡੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਰਟੀ ਹੈ ਸਾਡੇ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਕੋਲ ਜਾਏ ਸਾਡੇ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਜੋ ਬਚਦੇ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਕੋਲ ਜਾਏ ਹੋਰ ਆਪਾਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ 올ਡ ਏਜ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਸਿਕਿਉਰ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਆਪਣੇ ਘਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੈਠ ਕੇ ਅੱਛੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਰਹਿ ਸਕੀਏ ਜੋ ਇਸ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਦੀ ਸਚਾਈਆਂ ਹਨ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਐਕਸੈਪਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਸੋਲੂਸ਼ਨਸ ਹੈਗੇ ਸੋਲੂਸ਼ਨਸ ਨੂੰ ਜਾਣਨ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਹੈ ਅੱਜ ਆਪਾਂ ਉਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਗੱਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਓਰਲੀ you know uh, we are new immigrants in this uh, the society as we keep, uh, keep uh, mentioning now uh, there are many members of our society uh, uh, for who it's time to you know, let their whatever they've uh, made in their life to let it go to the next generations they don't want to give it to the government right. they, they they want to pay their fair share i'm sure but they don't want to lose all that they have made right and they want to have a healthy uh, uh, that phase of life yeah. right they want to stay at stay at their homes but they don't want to be unnecessary burdens on their children as well right right tell us what what is it that you think everyone should do that protects us that that keeps that you know way of living that protects us and that easily transfers uh, their assets after they're gone tell us what all I think that people in general are mm-hmm. very scared because they hear the word Medicaid, they hear the word government, they hear the word aging, mm-hmm. things like that and they get so overwhelmed and they don't want to address that. And um also people want to stay at home. They want to live at home with their kids. They want to see their grandkids grow up. I'm sure I mean we're all immigrants, families of immigrants. I'm a first generation American. We've all worked, well, I've watched my parents work so hard for everything that they've built just to give opportunities to us kids and to then my kids and and to continue the generations on. And if there's one thing that I would hope to impart to your audience here today is that there is something that we can do to help you to stay in your homes and to keep everything that you've worked for so that you can pass it on to that next generation mm-hmm. and you can use it for your life i mean you've worked all these years to amass and build up this um nest egg or this house or this anything and you should be able to hold on to it and to keep it and so it sounds intimidating and it sounds like there's a lot of work to it when you hear something called trust or power of attorney or healthcare proxy but by seeking out a lawyer and looking at your options there's really so much you can do that will help you be able to stay in your home for longer without having to lose everything that you've you've saved and you've built up for mm-hmm. very, very, very important david what age do you think generally a person should start acting on what we're saying here today you know normally a person uh, waits somebody like me you know they're still waiting i i haven't myself done any of these instruments what age do you think a person should do all so this so for the planning for long term care mm-hmm. uh usually it is in the 50s to 60s mm-hmm. but in so far as any type of management and entering into the instruments that we have discussed over today and the prior even for the young as i had mentioned previously everyone should have a will for purposes of deciding where their children are going to live in these unfortunate circumstances where they don't to prescribe and to state i have a preference to have this sibling raise my children in my absence so for the young it's very appropriate for the middle aged also very appropriate i will also say that oftentimes we have seen where clients have put assets into not only their name but also into a sibling's name or into children's name they should be wary of that because that means that any type of circumstance liability creditor that those other family members have they can attach to that property it is much smarter and more intuitive to think about the leaving these properties to their family just the same without immediately putting their name on those documents and to asset protect 
and leave it to them in the proper form. And you save on taxes. And you save on taxes. Absolutely. Uh, Oli, a couple of quick questions. Sure. Is it a good idea to have your children's name on your bank accounts to avoid probate? Absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely it is not. Absolutely not a good idea. Don't do it. If you've done it, change it. Um, it's a great idea to have your children's name as a power of attorney, as the agent on your bank account, but effectively what you've done when you've to put a child's name on your account is you've made them a joint owner and now you've inadvertently cut out any of your other children so they don't inherit um, after passing, after many, many years when you pass, the other children don't inherit. And now also, if your child is, for whatever reason, God forbid, going through a divorce, going through a creditor action, having any type of difficulty, or wants to apply for tuition assistance, that money that's sitting on in an account that their name is on, along with yours, is considered their money. So it's a bad idea completely <laughs> uh, and there's more appropriate ways you can do it aaj jo sanu advice mili hai main unko puchha ki kya ye acha idea hai ga ki apna apne bachche da naam jada oh bank account se likh diye taki oh probate sanu na karani pe te sanu advice ye mili hai ki nahi ye bahut bura idea hai ga david is it a good idea to transfer your house into your spouse's name or to your kid's name, again, to avoid uh, having a trust? It's not a good idea to do that either for the reasons that Orly had just previously mentioned. Uh -huh. If you transfer property into your child's name uh -huh. and then your child ends up getting married and then, heaven forbid, getting divorced, your son-in-law will be your biggest problem because then your property will be the subject of that matrimonial proceeding. The better way to identify and to be able to provide for your children is to be able to either have a trust where they will be the beneficiary or if you don't want to spend the money on a trust, at least in the will, leave it to them, but maintain it for your purposes. Also, as Orly had mentioned, you have to be concerned about taxes. Mm -hmm. There's a very large tax difference between property that you're putting their name on versus property that you are allowing for them to inherit. Not only the tax on the property at the present time, but the increase in value. That is a very significant difference by putting their name on now versus leaving to them through inheritance. This is also a very important factor that when we transfer one generation to another generation, transfer so, where everything is fine, everything is fine, everything is fine, there are government taxes and they come to us that sometimes we are doing a disservice uh, you know, to whoever is a beneficiary by giving them uh, that. Right. Only we will end on this note, you know, uh, we, we always say times have changed and uh, you know, things are not the way they used to be. Still. There are a lot of families, there are a lot of uh, kids who take care of their parents, their grandparents, uh, as you uh, do, you mentioned, yeah. as you do. So my, my last question today would be for people who happily live with their families, with their children, and they know that their children are going to uh, you know, keep them that way yeah. as long as they live, do they still need estate planning? They need estate planning more than anybody else does because there's a lot of opportunities available for them and for their kids. They don't want there to be a burden on their kids for the expenses. There's plenty for them to do if they speak to their lawyer and, and, and figure out whatever options there are. There's a lot of options to help them be able to stay at home and minimize the burden of expenses. Jo loki har har ik da parivar aisa nahi hai ki oh unna nu udro karu kad den den ya unna da khyal nahi rakh de. जो बुजुर्ग बड़े सुखी परिवार बसते हैं और उन्होंने ये चीज़ पता है कि साडे बच्चे साडा ख्याल रखा उन्होंने भी एस्टेट प्लैनिंग की उन्नी ही लड़ है और जिम्मे ओरली कह रहे हैं कि उन्होंने ज़्यादा लड़ है क्योंकि वो अपने बच्चे पर बर्डन नहीं बनना बनना चाहते वो चाहते कि उन्होंने प्रॉपर्टी जब ट्रांसफर हो बच्चों पर कोई डिफिकल्टीज ना आन कोई टैक्स बर्डन ना आन और सारे जेड़े परिवार वो हसते खुशदी वसते रहन अगे जाके भी कोई प्रॉब्लम्स नहीं आन ओरली डेविड आई थैंक यू बोथ सो मच 
for taking out this time, you know, giving this very important information uh, to our viewers, to our uh, community. I hope uh, we'll get some questions. We'll, 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 I'll share the questions with you, sure. and maybe I'll request you to come here again and uh, you know address uh, those questions. It would be but our pleasure. Thank you so much for taking out the time today. Thanks for Thank having us. AC Sada Ajda Show to see Vegdero the way forward.